Kara was uh, a character that we we actually started designing even before we had fully established the the actual narrative of the game. The the story sets up with her basically with her family on a bunch of their boats. Uh, going through this storm and effectively she gets separated on her ship from the rest of the of the family in the storm and ends up crashing her boat and waking up on the island and she's basically stuck in within these uh, storms where the islands are and she needs to find her way out of it. From the very beginning we wanted Kara to be a nomadic uh, character so we wanted her to be moving through the game so that she could not only explore, uh, but also to, to make her way through the narrative and make her way through uh, the journey she was going to go on. Kara is a character who's just been sort of thrown into this situation. It wasn't, she's not here by her own choice necessarily. Um, you need somebody who comes from a place where that's the sort of thing that's, uh, that's expected of them to, to be able to uh, survive. You know, she's not a superhero in any way, shape, or form. So she's not going in and, and you know taking out fifteen animals in, in one go. Um, she is vulnerable, but she is capable, and uh, that's kind of the kind of the personality that we wanted to get across with her. But Kara is ultimately trying to get home, trying to get back to her people. This isn't the sort of place. While it's uh, beautiful, it's also dangerous. Um, it's not the sort of place where you want to be by yourself any longer than you need to. And while along the way it feels like she's uh, potentially being hampered by the by the world, by the wind, by the storm that's trapping her there, along the way of trying to achieve that goal of getting home, she sort of uncovers a little bit of uh, context and reasoning for why the things are the way they are. The Nautilus is introduced early on in the game. Right, right there in the intro, it's Kind of, it's partly responsible for why Kara is in this situation that she is. The the idea of having this big creature that played some part in the story and how you got through the world uh, was something that was there right from the very beginning. Framing it as an antagonist and sort of developing it over time so that hopefully you'll sort of um, get a clearer idea, find out what its intentions really are, uh, how it's actually been interacting with Kara. Uh, behind the scenes the whole way. The Nautilus, she finds out more about it as she plays through the game and more about uh, the world that she's in and the, the nature of the storms and, and everything around her. It's hard to say too much without getting too spoilery. <laughs> the, the purpose will hopefully become more apparent um, as, the, as the play gets through. <laughs>